Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to configure and set up the Synology devices. The model I have right now is DS420 Plus. So I just insert the drive and turn on the, my device and connect it to the network. I am in the same network of the Synology device with my laptop right now. Okay, for connect to the Synology device for first time, if you have internet on your computer, just need to go to the website find.synology.com. It's free tools from Synology will help you to detect and connect to your device for first time. Okay, I will wait till it will search and find my device in the network. Okay, now it's detected and this is the information of my device. Uh, let me show you. Okay, as you can see, my computer is in the same network of the device. Oh, sorry, I have a firewall, but they can see each other. Let me show you. P192.168.2.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1
first step I am going to check my hard drives so I will go to uh, storage manager Just overview of my device I have two hard drive two four terabyte drive are right now installed on my computer on my storage so I'm going to set up the RAID 1 and for this case I need to create a storage pool okay so I'm going to use RAID 1 I will choose both drive so in this step I have two options one of them is for uh, perform the disk check so I will skip it for now so modify allocate size maximum next and I will just go for recommended one hit ok okay now it will going to just rest, uh, now my raid is ready uh, I need to go to sand manager in order to access to my device so I need to create loon and also a SCSI devices so I'm going to SCSI hit add and create one target so when I am going to here because I don't have loon it will create it so here so I don't have loan create a new loan click next uh, just leave it as a default the total capacity so I'm I put the total my drive is depend on you how much how many loan you need but I'm going to assign all of my available space to the loan so I can for example create two loan or three or whatever you want so in this step in this in this video I'm going to just create one loom as my total space so this one has a better flexible storage and this one has a better performance so performance is more important for me Okay, I will choose this one because I believe this one I can create a snapshot later. By better performance, I cannot. Flexible storage and done. Okay, now my loon is ready and also my iSCSI device is ready and I can create a snapshot. So later you can go here and assign the snapshot and rep also for connecting to my device. Uh, just let me check my IP address uh, this is the IP address of my device so for connecting to this device you need to go to your computer setting uh, you need to go to computer management no sorry 
uh, administrative tools, administrative tools. Okay, so find ISCSI, ISCSI initiator, double click on it, hit yes. Okay, so in order to access to my drive, just enter the IP address 192.168.250.2 five and hit quick connect so it detected done now it's connected I'm going here so you need to go to computer management and create a drive go to disk management now it will ask you to initialize your drive so since i have a drive more than two terabyte i will choose gpt hit ok no new simple drive next next just create a drive for example k next finish So it's going to be format and just a few minutes it will take to show in my drive list. After the formatting finish it will be like exactly one new device, one new drive here. Okay, the other setting on my device is, for example, you can, okay, so it's ready. Let me show you, yeah, that's my drive exactly like a drive uh, the other setting is available here you need to go to control panel uh, <clears throat> you can go to network settings and create a lag you have two interfaces so it it can be possible to connect create a lag I believe it should be kind of edited here uh, You can define VLAN dot one X the users can be defined here. The SMB settings, share folders. And this is my latest version, version 7 DSM. Okay, it's done and ready. I hope you learned something. If you learned something, please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.